which culminated into creating synergy between people who had taken KTDA to court and suspended the operation of the T Act. As a result, the T Act now is in operation. The president never mandated me to take over the affairs of the Ministry of Agriculture. He asked me to spearhead tea reforms. I did the tea conference in Kericho, brought all the stakeholders together, and as a result, I created a synergy among all the stakeholders, and we agreed that those people who had gone to court withdraw the cases, and now the tea act is operational, and that will see meaningful reforms. As to claims that I have stopped the selling of tea in Mombasa, there is no evidence to that effect, and I want to call upon the Honorable Mutuse to, to, to provide that evidence. Again, in matters coffee, I was given a job by the President to initiate coffee reforms, which I have done successfully. I held a coffee conference in Meru for three days in 2023. For the last two years, I've been working with stakeholders, including members of Parliament and the Senate, which has culminated into two bills, the Coffee Bill 2023 and the Cooperative Bill 2023. These two bills, the Coffee Bill 2023, will see the introduction of the Coffee Board of Kenya that will market coffee for farmers without putting profit. We have also recommended the introduction of the Coffee Research Foundation or the Coffee Research Institute in Roido to work on better varieties and drought resistant crops. Through my efforts, again, I have completed my work. The two bills are before the National Assembly. I call upon members of the National Assembly immediately after the impeachment process to embark on these two bills and see them to fruition so that farmers can enjoy the work we have done in coffee reforms. I have seen another absurd that I have taken control of a local cooperative society in Madira constituency where I was a member of parliament. This is false. I should be told which society by name because I know other societies. I know other farmers by name. It's really ridiculous. Again, there is no evidence. There is nothing. It's just trying to spoil my name before the people of Madeira who elected me as their member of parliament. On the issues of shareholding, I think this matter has been discussed for a long time, and I think it's good tonight I put it in proper perspective. I wish to state that the allegation is equally false. None of my family members, allies, or seats are in control of any cooperative society in Madeira. That one I had done. Um, in shareholding by virtue of the provisions of the third schedule of the Political Parties Act, the constituent parties of Kenya Kwanza Coalition entered into various agreements which were deposited with the Speaker of the National Assembly and the Speaker of the Senate for purposes of Article 108 of the Constitution of Kenya. 16.2, the following were members parties of Kenya Kwanza, UDA, ANC, Ford Kenya, PAR, Farmers Party, Chama Chakazi, Communist Party, Economic Freedom Party, the Service Party, Tujibebe Wa Kenya Party, Umoja na Maendeleo Party of Kenya, and the Democratic Party of Kenya. In accordance with provisions of Clause 3E of Schedule 5 of the Political Parties Act, each of the agreements contained in a power sharing development agenda for certain regions in Kenya. I attach here copies of the said agreement. I'll give you the Kenya Kwanzaa agreement so that you know when I talk about shareholding, I'm not talking about Kenyans. I'm talking about this agreement that was signed by President William Ruto and almost everybody else on how power will be shared. I've never talked about sharing resources. I have been talking about power sharing for people to get what they deserve in sharing power in accordance with this agreement. Like, for example, in an agreement between UDA and C and Ford Kenya, the UDA would nominate the president and the deputy presidential candidates, which has happened. 
I got my share, although I have no share certificate. The president would guarantee the stature, dignity, financial and operational autonomy of those of the deputy president. It's in the agreement. The office of the deputy president will be allowed specific duties identified at Article 21 of the agreement. ANC will be allocated the position of cabinet, prime cabinet secretary to be established within 14 days. It was given to Musalia. The office of the deputy president, uh, Ford Kenya will be allocated the position of the speaker of the national assembly, which was given to Moses Wetangula. In, uh, in accord with Article 2.1 of the power sharing agreement, ANC and Ford Kenya would have a 30% share of national government positions. So, the Honorable Musali Mdavadi, the Honorable Wetangula and the people of Western, please don't condemn Rikati Kashawa. The agreement is here defining your share in the government. It is not me. I did not sign this document. It was signed by Musalia, Wetangula, and President William Ruto. So when I say about this share thing in terms of positions, I've never talked about resources, about development, although it is also here, is that regions bargained with the president for shares. Musalia Mudavadi, and Moses Wetangula bargained for 30% of shares within the Kenya Kwanza government. Although they were also supposed to give us 70% of the vote, which they did not. <laughs> Nevertheless, since they gave a certain vote, they are still entitled to some share, one way or, or another. So it is not regarding Ashagwa who said that a government is like a company. It is the agreement of the Kenya Kwanza, which I'll be tabling in the National Assembly. It is not me. It went ahead to say it. He said, ANC and Ford Kenya would have 30% share of national government positions. That is cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, high commissioners, ambassadors, diplomatic and consular representatives, chairpersons of state corporations, directors of state corporations, chairpersons and, of, and commissions, constitutional commissions, provided a 30% share is to be shared equally between the ANC and Ford Kenya. Sasa mimi nikiambia watu wafuata share yao na kosa yao ni gani? Iko hapa. I did not sign. They went ahead. They went ahead. Musalia Mudavadi and Wetangula. And they must follow these things. Because I will not follow for them because I was not party to the Western agreement. The agreements were with regions. So when people say I'm dividing regions, I'm simply following the Kenya Kwanzaa agreement of the way it was debated. They went ahead and said, Article 22 of sharing agreement set out a list of priority projects which Kenya Kwanzaa would endeavor to fulfill in the ANC and Ford Kenya strongholds of Western Kenya between 2022 to 2027 on a priority basis. Musalia Mudavadi and Wetangula signed a package for Western Kenya. I have never had anybody call them tribalists, but they signed an agreement demanding for Western Kenya. They demanded, and it was agreed it will be done. Completion of all incomplete or stored bitumen roads. Construction of an extra 1,000 kilometers of bitumen in Western Kenya. Revival and modernization of sugar factories in Western Kenya. Establishment of new industries identified in Article 22 of the agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kenya Kwanza agreement on shareholding. What crime? Has Rikati Gashawa committed to be impeached by saying what President William Ruto appended in signature to, with Musalia Mudavadi and Wetangula who will preside over my impeachment? What crime has this man committed? The crime of this man is just being truthful because people do not want these things to be known. That is a problem. People have a problem that I'm a truthful man. The people of Western Kenya has now known today 
what their leader signed with President William Ruto. It is upon them to demand their share as per this agreement. I did not sign this agreement. I will read the people who signed. But because I was present and I'm a truthful man, I fight for the people of Western Kenya. Power sharing agreement between Kenya Kwanzaa and Pa of Amazon Kingi. I want to give two examples. Yeah? In accord with Article 8 of the agreement, Pa would be allocated the position of the Speaker of the Senate. He negotiated for himself. <laughs> Let's be truthful. You brought this motion. We'll discuss. The people of Kenya must know the truth so that if Rigabi Gashago is being crucified for being truthful, let the people of Kenya know why he is being crucified. How can Moses Wetangula say I should be impeached because of saying people to get their shares when he is a signatory to a share agreement with the president? on what will go to Western Kenya. And then they accuse me of tribalism. They did not say anything should go to Central or Mount Kenya. They talked about Western. When I say something for Mountain, I'm a tribalist. King, he said, position of speaker, you are my power. Part 9A of the power sharing agreement, power would nominate the candidate for appointment of one principal secretary when Kenya Kwanza came to power. On the power. For Article 9B, the power sharing agreement, Kenya, Kwanzaa, and PA would agree on what share of national government positions, cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, high commissioners, ambassadors, diplomatic and consular representatives, chairpersons, state corporations, etc., etc. Power sharing agreement, that is a word, so that nobody should ever again in this country ever accuse me of talking of shares. It is not me. It is my boss, President William Ruto, who appended his signature with other leaders that Kenya is like a company of shares. It is not me. And he did, he signed the agreements, sharing Kenya. You see, it's being shared. Two of us, two of us, they have shared the speaker, they have shared the Senate, they have shared the deputy president, they have shared the president. That's what I've been saying. And then I'm being told that I'm dividing the country along ethnic lines. I did not appear this signature. I'm just being truthful. That is my crime. People want these things to be hidden so that they pretend to be nationalistic and say regarding Ashagwa is tribal. But the people who appeared these signatures are the ones who should explain why they were signing things for their regions only. Yet they say they are national leaders. Power sharing agreement between the Kenya Kwanza coalition on one part uh, and the Communist Party. Nini, nini, nini. So, <laughs> service party, at least I saw Chama Chakazi. They say the party leader should get something. Moses Kulia was given something. <laughs> the service party of Mwangi Kujuri got nothing. You know? So, Unajua Sasa, Ile Shida Iko Kenya Hini Ukora. And people not being truthful. The agreements are here. Like in a communist party, they have been making noise. They signed an agreement, they have not seen anybody. Yeah? So, uh, my speeches on the shareholder issue are informed by their firm, their aforesaid power sharing covenants which are founded on law and lessons learned from the well-known disputed 202 NAC power sharing agreement. Further power sharing agreements are a feature of government formation in all democracies in the world that provide the formation of coalitions. My pronouncements on the issue properly understood are not only anchored in law, but entirely harmless and incapable of being construed as a basis for ethnic animosity a danger to national cohesion or a threat to national unity. On the contrary, coalition building has been one of the most important innovations since the disputed 207 elections in ensuring stability, equitable sharing of political power, national cohesion, and
fostering of national unity, of national unity. Indeed, Kenya Kwanzaa's main opponent in the 2022 general election, Asimio La Umoja, one Kenya coalition party, was a political party consisting of 25 or so political parties who also executed a power sharing agreement as required by Schedule 3 of political parties. However, on the studying of the same power sharing agreements, upon election as the Deputy President of Kenya, I went out of my way as required by the Constitution of Kenya to serve all Kenyans regardless of their political preferences during the election or ethnic origin. I'll produce videos or know those things. Again, my decision to embrace a broad-based government following the decision of the cabinet after the GNC protest is that I support coalition building. And even when the Honorable Wright Odinga came, he got some shares. <laughs> True or false? I mean, surely, why is Regani Gashabwa being verified by just being truthful? You know, it's good to